Um, we are now just, we've done so much philosophy and I really think that we've just covered a lot. I might come back to just a little bit of some sods and little bits. Um, but today we're going to do um, a shake and drop practice followed by a just B. Um, I think a shake and drop practice uh, would be a good one. I've got an anxious mind at the moment. Uh, not a good week for me. Uh, and that's sort of why I do yoga really in mindfulness. Not because I'm the calmest person in the world. It's because I'm constantly working with my emotional self-regulation tools. And we've done a just be in a shake and drop practice, but we haven't done them together. And um, as I've said before, a just be practice can be the most complex practice. Uh, many schools kind of, such as Zen schools, um, such as Renzi schools, uh, you know, have a very focused practice, but we're just going to do sort of like a more sutta just being practice. Um, and I think at the moment, I think we need just just kick back a little bit. I think that's why I want to do this practice. Um, in the West, we're sort of told to strive and do more, self-improvement, an agenda, which means that a striving practice, um, thinking, oh God, it's, I think there was, uh, I think Gemma Coral does a fantastic cartoon, I will post it, uh, of meditation. And she's constantly thinking, am I sitting right? Am I practising this right? You know, and all sorts of things are popping in her head um, about whether she's doing the actual meditation practice well. Um, and then the more that you strive thinking, oh, am I doing this right? The more you end up with a neurotic relationship um, with the process of meditating, um, with thinking that you're not doing it correctly. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do a shake and drop which uh, Rinpoche, Turga community, uh, just shaking out the tension and then we can probably find it much easier to go into that just be stillness. So when you're in the just be, you are just sitting in acceptance with your own being. I kind of like it really because at the end of the day, I'm very good at self-acceptance. It's just other people that probably find annoying. <laughs> As they say, you know, mm, so many hot baths, so much meditation, so much yoga, and still want to slap people. Um, but that's my fault, isn't it? Because I need to learn how to not react. Because um, no matter what people do, they will always be annoying. Um, but you just have to ha allow and accept, and that's very healthy and very healing. So... Let's officially start without my wiffle waffle. So, so today's practice is going to be a shake and drop. Not to be confused with the shake and vac advert from the 70s and 80s, followed by a just be practice, which is very, very good because we're not chasing objectives. We're stop dropping out of the struggle and we find that great space for relaxation. Uh, it's the spacious awareness of everything that's coming in and out of your consciousness. Remember, you're noting, not thinking when you're practicing mindfulness. That's the important thing. Um, let your attention do whatever it does. Whatever comes into your frame of reference, it's the gift of giving to yourself, of just doing nothing. It's the deepest practice of balance. It's about opening and accepting up to the natural flow of life, whatever comes. Because I think more now, I think the, the I think June is going to be very much like this. I don't know, I can feel it in my water, that June is going to be step back completely, don't get involved with the process, non-reaction, definitely, and trying to almost sort of find that peace within that stepping away from, but also always constantly noting that I think June will be more like this. It's just something I'm really feeling. Um, I'm not, I, um, in my intuition that we need to spend more time, I would say, 
expecting nothing because I think it's just going to really change from day to day. Um, I'll make one example. I work in a school. Every day for the past 41 days, there's been a different bit of advice on how to open up the schools. And I think really it's everything is just going to constantly shift and change. Um, and that's just one example, but I think we really don't know where we're going at with everything. So take a step back from the midst of chaos. Keep your powder dry. Um, Non-reactions good. Allowing your maturity and wisdom to come through. You get that space where you probably end up acting in a much more better way for yourself. Um, and we do, we do the shake and drop because like when it comes to trauma and stuck energy, we can learn to back off from our triggers as well, can we, for our sanity. To learn to release as well these rigid patterns of expectation of also destructive thought because we can get caught in a cycle, can't we, like that. I did this little breath thing with the little kids today, this week, with the family yoga and we was going... With this little breath. So you can use... The just be practice at the end of every single mindfulness practice after you've had a focus. So it could be focus on the breath, focus on the sound, any of your five senses, because that's what it is. It's a sensory practice mindfulness. So let's start. So sit comfortably, back straight, feel your hips firmly planted and rested on the floor. Remember your body is relaxed and at ease, stable like a mountain. Okay, eyes, soft gaze or closed. And just taking some nice big, a nice big inhale, fully. And then just breathe out. And feel your shoulders drop. With that inhale for the lift. Inhale completely. And exhale completely. One more, inhale. And then exhale, allowing your jaw to completely relax. Place your tip of your tongue between your teeth and your gums. And see if you can remind yourself of intention of doing this practice for the next few minutes. What are you doing? Are you cultivating relaxation? Presence? Awareness? Whatever it is, what relationship do you want with your thoughts? Okay, and let's go. So... On the count of three, we're going to start shaking our arms and our bodies, okay? And when I count you back out, one, two, three, we're going to stop and drop into mindful stillness, okay? One, two, three, and shake. So I just want you to just get rid of all that tension in your body and just let everything go. And don't worry, nobody's seen you. Just shake it all out, your head, shoulders, everything. Just let all that energy flow through you and out you. Just let everything go, shoulders. Arms, elbows, head, nodding yes, no. Then one, two, three, and drop. So just become aware of your feet and your hips against whatever is holding and supporting you. Just become aware of sights. If your eyes are open and sounds. Any sensations or thoughts or feelings? Anything coming and going? Not clinging or blocking them, like clouds going across the sky. Just lightly follow your breath without being completely aware of what's happening around you. Just put everything into the background of your awareness. And then just settle now, ready onto the breath, the focus. Just a little bit more. Notice the inhales and the exhales, the rise and fall of the abdomen. And don't worry if your mind begins to drift or go into another direction or gets distracted. Just kindly, gently bring it back to the focus of the breath. Just notice where it's gone and come back. Feel your shoulders lift, feel your chest lift, feel your belly move. Feel the touch and the tickle of the breath through the nostrils. Okay, and then let's get ready to shake again. Just let all the energy go out and throw it all out. 
imagine that you're just shaking all water off the end of your fingers like a dog that's just come in from a mucky bath and when it's jumped in the river and you're just getting it all off you. Tension, 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 shake, 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 shake. And then one, two, three, and drop down into stillness, spine long back straight. Feel yourself planted hips, contact, floor, feet. Chin slightly tilted in, neck long. Just come back to the breath. Just lightly clinging to a gentle focus on the breath. Just with that mindful curiosity, without judging, analysing, whatever comes and goes. With an attitude of open awareness, notice your belly rise and fall lift of your shoulders. Maybe noticing sensations, pulsations of energy flowing around the body. Just notice what is right here, right now, in this present moment. Maybe noticing your hands against your thighs and your feet on the floor. And then check it out for the last time before we go into a complete drop, open awareness, just be. And really go for it this time, just move everything. So, whoa, shake it all out. The more you move the energy out of the body, the more easy it is to settle into the practice. So you can do squeeze and release or shake and then just completely go into a 10 minute mindful meditation. As long as you get into that orientating and the grounding and then feeling your centre and feeling your breath and then drop in. Okay, one, get that stuck energy out, two, and three, and drop. Sitting comfortably back straight, hips firmly planted, rested, body relaxed at ease, stable. Come back to the breath, notice whenever your mind wanders, come back. Just label whenever it's gone. Just say thinking, then come back to the breath. But just lightly follow the breath whilst being completely aware of what's happening around you. You might hear the sound of the birds. You might hear some clatter in the house. Lots of drifting in and out of your conscious awareness. You might notice any physical sensations of the body. Just allow the mind to simply be just as it is, open spacious, calm and yet completely aware, completely aware of what's happening around you. Just being present, just notice things drifting out of your awareness like a cloud, sights, sounds, sensations, feelings, thoughts, emotions with a coming and going without blocking any of these things without resisting and also without doing the opposite without clinging or holding almost as if each of these senses and awareness are like clouds just drifting across the sky Don't worry if you lose your balance and get lost in thought. Simply don't follow the narrative. The moment you start to follow a thought or get stuck on a sound, just simply come back to breath awareness. Focus on the belly or the nostrils or the chest and then let go the moment you feel ready to rest in open awareness. Let go of the awareness of the breath, undistracted by whatever arises. Open awareness to everything. Leave 
hearing to hearing, seeing to seeing, thinking to thinking, feeling to feeling. In the present moment, nothing to do, nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Just simply being. And then open out into this spacious awareness. Opening out to every possibility and everything that comes in and out of your consciousness. Like people on an elevator. You're aware. You notice, but you're not judging or analysing or taking in detail, they're just passing by, noticing, not thinking, noticing. So, just take a moment. It's good to do a little bit of reflection or appreciation after any practice. Just some time to also say well done. Also a little bit of appreciation for taking some time out to care for yourself. Time for you. Time for your mind. Time for your intention, which is your well-being. And time that it is so of benefit for you that it is of benefit to others. So, hopefully, allow this sense of presence and spacious awareness, which I like, it's like relaxation, like the blue sky behind the clouds. Take that into the rest of your day. Top tip, sitting in a garden is really good for doing this practice. Um, I do it all the time. I just allow all the sounds to drift in and out. Think of all those lovely times that you've ever been laid on a beach or listened to the sea. And it's just drifting in and out there. You're just noticing. And there's that sense of relaxed spacious awareness in the whole body and the brain. And it's quite good. So, we'll keep practising. Me talking less, more practising. Namaste, beautiful yogis.